Hi, Alan here. Uh, so thanks for joining for the next part of this Dark Souls playthrough. Uh, today we're tackling the Duke's archives, starting off in Anor Londo. So a fair bit of running through this section. I don't think I'm actually going to... Oh no, I'm going to fight one enemy uh, later on. Otherwise a lot of dodging. Past the giants there, they're pretty slow in their reaction, especially if you stay close. And head, heading up to the Duke's archives now. This first section is quite tricky, and we've got an armoured boar. Now, unlike the armoured boar early in the game, this one cannot be backstabbed. It's strong against nearly everything. So we run, slow down, roll at the last minute. The roll has invincibility frames. So you can essentially go right through the boar as it charges it to attack you. There's a second boar here. Just run past that to the left. They struggle turning left, to their right rather, and straight on. There is a bonfire there, but you can't activate it uh, while the boars are nearby. So I'm not going to bother. Into the archive itself. Now we've got crystal uh, infused enemies here who hit very, very hard no matter what your level, and a channeler. So they buff the enemies around them, make them stronger, so they can teleport away to safety, and they have ranged attacks. So pretty tough. Now there is a skip here using this elevator. If you ride it to the top and then start to send it back down again, you can jump off the balcony onto that ledge there and skip out uh, about 10 minutes of, of, of the game. I've been practicing that, but I can't do it just yet. So going the traditional route, I'm gonna let this guy hit me uh, because I want my health to be quite low for the next section. I should have followed through there. Very lucky not to be dead. Let's heal up. So I think this is a non-respawning enemy, but I'll have to check that. So yeah, Chris, another crystal lizard up here, which I need for more twinkling type knight to upgrade my weapon to the uh, most uh, to its highest level. And now into the first encounter with C. So this is why I have the curse bite ring. Uh, he inflicts curse, which is very damaging. Uh, removing all my equipment because I don't want them to get damaged by his attacks and removing any armor. I want to die as quickly as possible here. It's a mandatory death, but I want to die fast so that uh, I don't get curse inflicted on me. That's why I wanted my health low as well. So that's kind of a scripted part of the game. You have to die there unless you do the skip I talked about. That spawns you now in uh, Seath's prisons. Really lovely part of the level actually here. Huge, huge tall chamber full of books. And unlike the other bonfires in the game, you can't warp out of that bonfire. You have to kill that guard to pick up the key. I forgot to pick up the key. And that triggers an alarm. So I should have left this lizard alone because he was actually trying to escape because there are other enemies now coming up from the base of the prison, triggered by the alarm. There are various treasures in the side rooms, uh, but I don't need any of those in this room. Run. So here's those enemies. They're very weak, but they can inflict pretty strong attacks, including a grab that's quite dangerous. And like all enemies here, they're quite resistant to magic. Uh, these were, in the lore of the game, these were actually uh, people that Seath transformed in his experiments into these uh, creatures. So 
as I thought. Uh, so I'm coming up this way to pick up a key to open a locked door up at the very top of the archives. A couple more of these serpent enemies. Including a ranged one, uh, which is a female version that has the ranged attacks. And if you're following the sort of magic uh, or sorcery parts of the game, uh, the cell below this area is where you would free Big Hat Logan, who's a sorcery trainer. And he teaches you the most powerful sorceries in the game. So now running all the way back up to the top, I don't really need the humanity uh, anymore, but you can use them as a healing item. So it's handy to have a few on standby. I'm not sure if it's faster or slower than uh, the Estus Flask, uh, but it does restore all of your health. So this was one of the serpents that tried to escape earlier, but he couldn't get out of the locked door up here. So eventually they do come back down. So ladder is always handy for equipping or unequipping stuff, just to save a few moments. And we're on the home stretch towards the last bonfire of the area now. So for a small enemy, these guys take a surprising amount of damage to kill. The archers are weak, but the others are very, very strong. So I've mistimed this, uh, <coughs> pardon me, fight with the channeler. Uh, so he managed to teleport away and now he's doing his little dance uh, to buff all the enemies around me. So they're a little bit stronger now. There's an enemy to the right I'll ignore. I'm going to ignore this enemy. A uh, really weird chamber here. I'm actually over the first area of the level now much much higher up. So we've got these rotating staircases that you have to put into position and it's a little bit of a puzzle to find the right way to go. I think I said I was only going to kill one enemy in this bit but uh, and obviously that has not been the case. There's another channeler right at the top of this staircase I'm going to mostly ignore. They drop the rarest weapon in the game, the Channeler's Trident. So for completionists, it can be a right pain trying to get them to drop that. Really low drop rate. Slightly worried here. This guy can hit you with the bow and just knock you off the stairs so you fall to your death. And now we're going to open up uh, access back into the main archive. But through that door behind me now is the way to the boss, which I'll cover in the next video uh, because I'm out of time here. So here we are at the main bonfire of the area. This is a hot spot for invasions, but we don't need to worry about that for this video. So that's the pretty much it, I think, now for this area. I'm just going to level up and prepare myself for fighting uh, Seath by kindling the bonfire. So it'll give me a few more uh, Estus charges. So I'll have 10 going into that boss fight. So thanks very much for watching. Next video, I'll be tackling the Crystal Cave and Seath himself.
Bye for now.